Okay. So, I don't really know how to start this video. Um, this is my channel. My name is Megan. Um, and I'm just kind of been a mess um, today or yeah yesterday today um, this isn't gonna be like any of my previous videos and not like any after either but I don't really know how I should start but I just feel like I need to say this and just get it out of me um, and just hope it helps someone or something or maybe it'll just make help me feel a little better I don't know but I spent most of the day crying because this stuff is just crazy like the world is just crazy right now and I live in Minnesota and today was the day that they announced that the schools were going to be closing and it's only for I think 10 days but the town I live in is gonna have like a week in between those days and our spring break so it's gonna be like a month actually that the kids aren't in school and I don't have school age kids so that doesn't like really personally affect me I guess but everyone a lot of other people it does and so it's freaking everyone out like it, which I get and it's just it's just crazy <laughs> um I have no idea what's gonna happen. Nobody does. It's all completely unknown to us. It's all a change and it's a big change and everyone reacts differently to that. And I think everyone's scared. And you could be watching this and yelling at me through your screen that you're not scared of anything and I'm just a big whiny baby, crybaby, pussy and that's fine but you're scared too because it's just human nature when you don't know what's going on or what's gonna happen or for things to be different it's that it's uncomfortable and scary and everyone's dealing with it differently and I get it but um I don't know I just I don't know if tomorrow the grocery store is not going to stock the shelves and then what? Then are people going to start looting? Are people going to become more desperate? Are people going to become more angry? Or part of me like really does hope that the people that are just saying that this is all made up and a media lie to scare us that they're right and it's just gonna be done in like two weeks I, I hope that that is the truth I really do but I think the reality is that it's gonna be somewhere something in between those two and it's not gonna be the worst but it's not good either like regardless there's gonna be repercussions from this for months if not years and that's gonna affect people too and um I don't know I just <laughs> it's just hit me really hard today just seeing how everyone's reacting and all the different ways that people are expressing their frustration and their anger and their fear. It's just, it makes me so sad because it just doesn't need to be this way. Like we don't need to be like this to each other and talk to each other this way. And 
I don't care like how it started or where it came from or whose fault you think it is or how it could have been handled differently. I don't care about any of that. And I don't care if you think it's complete BS and it's not even real. It's not even a thing. And that everyone's stupid that thinks it is. Because it is happening. And now it is affecting all of us. And it is here. <laughs> and I just need to know that I said what I needed to say and just got it out of my system. And besides trying to talk to my boyfriend about it and explain it to him who I'm sure he thinks I'm crazy too but I just I think that we can get through it and everything can be okay but like we need to do it together and we need to be positive and support each other and we need to just forget about all of the shit that like we've been how we've been living our lives up until this like forget about how much you hate liberals and socialists and how much you hate President Trump and MAGA hats and just arguing over who started stockpiling toilet paper first or hand sanitizer first like it just none of that matters it just it literally means nothing right now because here we are and we all of us like as human beings as people in our country in this world we all matter and if we're gonna get through all of this no matter how long it takes or this election year or the months after this or years after this if we're gonna like get through it with the least amount of just additional pain and suffering and annoyance or whatever it is that you're feeling now or however you're feeling in this moment if you want that to get better and go away even after the pandemic is over we have to stop fighting about everything and literally everything it's not helping and it's not gonna help and it wasn't helping before and I know I am just as much a part of and have partaken in it too I I know I have and I'm opinionated and I get argumentative and I love a good debate but this is not that anymore and it hasn't been for a while and it's just look at what's happening to all of us like we're all going through the same things and we're all dealing with the same issues like you can't just go buy some bread and milk right now. You can't just walk into Target or the store down the street and get bread and milk because it there's a chance it's gone because everyone is just knows that they don't know how long it's going to be before they get more and they know that their kids are home from school and they have to feed them lunch now and they have to have more food and or they're staying home from work and it's just we're all going through that and <laughs> it's not helping to just be fighting over it and thinking that like one person's experience it worse than the other or how it how we could not be going through it well it's too late we are here we are it's a thing like there's people that don't have a job to go to today and there's people that aren't going to school today and not for a little while and possibly even longer than what they are saying we don't know <laughs> and that's real I'm a real person my kids that are sleeping right now here in my house are real and your family's real and your mental health is real and all of that is affected by more than just this pandemic and the possibility of you maybe getting sick it's just, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, 
how we got here doesn't matter. It doesn't. And they're going to go back and talk about this forever and ever and study how it happened and why it happened and what could have been done and or what should have been done. And that's fine. But I just think we need to let them do that. And we need to get through this now. And the best way to do that is to just stop fighting about it and stop arguing about it and just move forward. And I think that we can all do that. And we should all be able to do that. We should all be able to civilly speak to each other and have decent conversations about how we can help each other and how we can make it through this shitty time. And as little, as long as it takes or as little as it takes. I mean, hopefully not much, but I don't know. Nobody knows. And I just I struggle with seeing all of that on top of being scared too. Like I'm not, I don't think I'm gonna die. I don't think anyone I, I mean I hope no one I know is gonna die. I don't, I don't know. I mean none of us know. But even if I don't die and you don't die and nobody you knows or you sorry nobody you know dies. There are people now dying and people that are going to die because of this. And there are people that are literally going to kill themselves from the stress of this and from watching people tear each other apart because of their own fear and their own situations. Like, that is going to kill people. And all of those deaths are going to mean nothing if we don't get anything out of this and we don't try to just do better and be nicer to each other and... I just want to know that people can try or that they like care to try to just care to just put yourself in someone else's shoes and try and think how they would how they're feeling or what they're going through and don't think about how they got there or why they got there or what they should have done to not get there because it just doesn't matter anymore like we're all here and I just need to know that, like, we can do that because, like, otherwise, what's the point? <laughs> and I don't think that. I think that there is a point, and I love my life, and I love my kids, and I love my family, and I love my friends, and I just want all of us to be the best people that we can be, and, like, I don't think that how we've all been is is that. I don't think it is. I think that we've all been staring at our phones and screens and scrolling through memes and stupid posts like meant to distract us and turn us against each other. And, and now we're using those same tactics to deal with this time in our life and It's just something that I think we can do better about, and all of us. I'm including myself in all of this as well. I'm not trying to get on a soapbox and act like I'm perfect, because I'm not, but... This is, like, the worst thing that's happened to me in my life, <laughs> literally. Like, uh, and not just me, just... 9-11 I was in eighth grade when that happened and I I still remember it like yesterday and how I felt and how scary that was and how I felt yesterday was worse than that because now I'm an adult and I'm a mom and this is here like this is us treating each other a certain way and talking to each other the way that we do and just blaming each other for things and just it's not someone else that came over here and did something to us. It's something that we're all having to go through and we're not doing it very well. And it just started. <laughs> I just know that we're better than this and I, I just want everyone to try and just be good to each other and 
I promise, like, if you just try to put yourself in other people's shoes and make them feel better, that it will make you feel better. I promise. Like, you can't, you can't try to be good and make someone else feel good and it not make you feel good, too. It's just, it's not how it works. <laughs> so... I just needed to vent this out there and I don't even know if anyone's going to watch this or care or listen to the whole thing, but this can't be like what does a sin, guys. Like <laughs> whether it's actually like going to kill us because it's a virus or if it's just going to make us hate each other even more. Like, we can't let it do that. So, thanks for listening to my TED Talk. But, have a good night. <laughs>